Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Victor here with the Adventure Family or those that follow me on Instagram, it's hefe underscore z71. And today, I'm just gonna do a short video of going over the uh, Costco Coho Cooler. It's a rotomotive cooler, 165 core, only 99 bucks, which is why I got it. I haven't seen any reviews on YouTube whatsoever. So I'm gonna take advantage right now that we have uh, sunny weather in Fremont, California. Do a quick uh, overview of the cooler, what you get when you buy it. And I'm also going to be filling it up with ice and doing ice retention tests. All right, guys, check it out. So here's what you get with the Costco Rota Molded Cooler. It is a Coho brand. I've never heard of the brand, except that I just happened to be in the market and saw this at Costco and saw it's only 99 bucks, right? And it looks like it's constructed pretty uh, rigidly, right? You got the uh, plastic uh, side stops there. You want to drain your ice you could easily unthread that cap right there it does have a nice little uh, uh cable steel cable right there and i also read on the instructions that you could screw in a hose here and fill it up with water too you know and also uh, extend it back out if you want to drain it further away from your site which is pretty nice and just to go over a, a few uh quick specs here 164 quart 90 cans and according to this, it's supposed to keep ice for up to seven days, all right? And I did notice, compared to the Yetis and other high-performance coolers out there, this one does not have the weather stripping around the lid here. So that might be an issue, but just planned ahead. And I got these weather strips from uh, Amazon. They're the B-shaped ones. You can see it. So after this ice retention test, I'm gonna go ahead and install this. For the purpose of this video and the out of the box performance, I'm not installing it just yet. And you also do get a top locking little trap door here. Again, no insulation, so that might cause issues with uh, water leakage and also uh, temperature maintenance. And it does come with a magnetic uh, pad here for the fishermen uh, that like to get this cooler, you know, could hold on to your lures and your hooks, you know. And you also get a nice little 33 inch fish ruler right here, guys. And it does come with a box. Let me show you guys this. They're cup holders. All right. So it's four of them. And they thread on to the top right here. Not as sturdy as you can see, but I did knock it pretty hard. For what it's meant, it will hold, or I see it at least holding your cups, you know, during a bumpy rides. If you take this on the boat or anything, it'll definitely withstand waves. And I'm positive. And these latches here, they're pretty easy. You just pull them down, wedge them right in, <laughs> wedge them right in, wedge them right in. All right, guys. And I'll go over the little booklet here with you guys. Again, coho cooler, 165 quart, 90 cans. Carry your beer to the lake, hell yeah. So it shows you here heavy duty rubber latches and I did wanna show you these. You know, at first they feel like plastic but they are kind of uh, wobbly, right? More like, yeah, rubber instead of just plastic. You know, and this feels comfortable, it doesn't dig into your skin. So the nice little grip right here what else to talk about here guys removable threaded cup holders plastic bumper non-slip feet which is what I pointed out earlier magnetic disc again perfect for your uh, fishing hooks and swivels easy access hatch which might be a problem uh, I don't know yet uh, two-in-one drain use the oversized portion for fast drain of ice and water or you can use a threaded hole portion for more controlled drain or attach a garden hose for a longer drain and it does have a tie down loop right here all right so it does tell us to pre-chill the cooler i mean i don't know anybody who does i never pre-chilled them so again for the purposes of this test i'm literally going to drive to the gas station right now fill up the cooler with ice and just leave it in the back of my truck until the ice completely melts and if you guys want to pause the video here and read the conditions for the seven day ice retention results from this company coho go ahead and do that now i'll just leave it on here a little bit longer so off to the gas station guys 
So it'll walk around with the cooler. All right, guys, just got some ice for the cooler. It is 77 degrees out today, and it's 12 p.m. here in Fremont, California. And it took me 15 bags, or 15 seven pound bags of ice. There you go. So officially every uh, day at 12 p.m. I will come in, check on the ice. I didn't pre-chill it or anything, so we'll see how it goes. All right, guys, here we are again. It's uh, 48 hours later. It's 88 degrees out, uh, 12, 23 p.m. See what the ice looks like. All right, we see some shrinkage in the uh, ice bags. Still a good amount of ice left. This bag is almost completely gone. Mainly water. All right guys, we'll come back tomorrow. About two hours later, it's 91 degrees out today. Most of the top ice is melted, about 50% of it. Bottom bag still retaining approximately 70 to 80% ice. Come back tomorrow. Day number four. Day five, 87 degrees. Took the ice out of the bag so you could see the ice better. So it's just surface ice left right now. Still pretty cold. Day numero six. Plenty of ice left here. It's in the high 60s today, a bit windy. Little big chunks here. 
come back tomorrow. Day number seven. Oh, there we go. Just a little bit of ice left in there. Yeah, it's not even that much, but the water is still relatively cold. But yep, seven days. All right, guys, so there you have it. This Costco cooler is actually pretty cool. It lives up to its name. Uh, just with a few key takeaways here. It wasn't the hottest temperature out here where I was at. Highest it reached was maybe about 88, 89 degrees. At night, it was pretty cool. Low 60s, sometimes high 50s. We had two days here where it was in the low, low 60s, so like 60, 61 degrees. All right, but other than that, you know, this cooler did stay in the back of my truck open daylight right no shade nothing just in the back of the truck sun blaring on it and yeah you know seven days is uh the uh the time that it took for all the ice to melt there's a little bit of ice left but i doubt that after tonight there will be any more ice left and this was with 15 bags of ice so depending on how much ice you have in there how much cold content you have you know this is a volume cooler so it's not going to be if you have like uh, two or three bags of ice that don't expect it to last seven days, right? In that case, just get a smaller cooler, like a 24 quart or something like that, which uh, I don't know if Coho makes. But um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and drain the ice right now. I'm parked here with the truck uh, in a park. I'm going to drain it into the grass. It's safe. There's no chemicals in the ice or anything. It's literally just melted ice. All right, guys, and I'll show you that process to see how fast it drains. Check it out. That much water left. Oh, look at that, guys. I guess the ice did disappear these last 20, 30 minutes since I checked up on it.